Hey guys, so I have some non-beauty favorites for you today. I know it's not the end of the month or anything, but I've been really loving some of these things that I'm going to show you or talk to you about and just figured I would pass this information along in case you wanted to try any of this stuff out. Um, some of it I really, really, really love. <laughs> Um, okay, what should I start with? Let's start with what's in front of me. Do you guys drink coffee? Um, I have two coffee favorites. This one I have been enjoying for a long, long time, but I had stopped buying it for a while, and then I just recently repurchased it again and remembered how good it is. If you have a Keurig machine, um, these are, you know, K-cups. Uh, this is Victor Allen Hazelnut. Oh my god, it is so good, you guys. If you like the flavor of hazelnut, you are going to love this. I don't love every single flavor, though, that this brand makes, so I can't say that I would recommend um, everything that they do, but I really like this. Okay, now I also have just a regular coffee machine. <laughs> I love coffee, so I have multiple coffee machines. And what I do is I put a couple of small scoops of this in the basket for my coffee machine, and it is so good. And this one you may not have ever heard of. I don't even know if you will have heard of Victor Allen, but this is Cafe Le Lave, and it's espresso. But I make this like I'm making a regular pot of coffee. I'll just fill up the coffee pot and then put like two level teaspoons, I would say. Like regular teaspoons, not the kind that you measure with, but just like household teaspoons of this. And it is so good. Um, okay, it says roasted and packed by Gavina and Sons, Vernon, California. But it seems to me that I read about this, and I think this is Cuban. Yeah, it says, our reputation goes back 140 years to our family's coffee estate in the hills of Trinidad, Cuba. And, um, oh man, it's, it's strong because obviously, you know, it's espresso, but this is so, so good. Okay, I also want to give you an update on what I was talking about in my video, um, what was it called? Uh, what I'm reading and streaming, because I had talked about this book Wicked by Gregory Maguire, and I wasn't really even sure if I was going to continue with it. Well, I kept going, and now I'm about halfway through it. And not only did I keep going with it, but... I am at the point where I keep wondering what's going to happen next. So apparently this is a series, and there are multiple books in this series. So I've already ordered the second book, which is called Son of a Witch, and it's going to be about the Wicked Witch of the West's son. And, um, yeah. So... It's funny because the, there are some really strange aspects of this book that when I get to, and I don't want to like say what they are because um, I don't like to give things away when it comes to reading. Um, to me, half the fun of reading a book is not knowing what's going to happen or um, it's it's really hard to talk about books that you like because then you don't want to say too much. I always find that when I do those reading and streaming videos that it, it's tough to not give anything away. But anyway, um, yeah, so I, I've ordered the second book, so I obviously <laughs> must like this a lot. And I found out that the author uh, lives in the same state that I do, so uh, Massachusetts. So that is um, kind of cool, too. All right, so this next thing, I absolutely love it. And this is going to really seem random when I start talking about it. But if you need a new vacuum cleaner, 
I just got this recently. This is the Shark Navigator Lift Away, and this is amazing. I cannot believe the amount of stuff that this picks up. It's an upright, but it's a lift away. So what you do is it has um, like little um, clasps on the side of it that you can undo and then you can pull the unit off the base stand so that you can use it like a kind of, almost like a shop vac or a portable vacuum if you need to get into tight spaces because with an upright you can zoom over big open areas but then sometimes when you get into smaller spaces it can be a bit difficult to get in there so this can be used either way and that's that's what sold me on it because see how she's holding it here she's doing the stairs in her house um, because the, you, no matter how your house is set up you're always going to have those hard to reach spots but this was amazing I it totally blew my mind just make sure you have it set on the right setting there's a button that turns it on and you push it forward either one or two clicks depending on whether uh, what type of surface you're vacuuming and I had it on I was trying to do the carpet and I had it on the floor setting and I was like why is this thing so hard to push because I had it on the wrong setting <laughs> so just make sure you have the button set to the correct setting and you will be amazed at how um, how much stuff this picks up it's incredible so it was it was a hundred and thirty four dollars at Walmart and I had never heard of this brand shark before you know I every time I buy a vacuum cleaner I end up getting a different brand so I've tried out quite a few different brands and um, but this I just I don't know I never knew anybody that that had this brand and um, but I started reading reviews online when we decided that we should really get a new vacuum cleaner. I started reading reviews online and was reading nothing but great things about this brand. So I thought, okay, I'll, I'll try it out and um, was pleasantly surprised. And the last thing I want to talk about is it's an app, but it's also... Um, it's a Facebook app or you can just put it like as an app on any mobile device um, it's called Abradoodle Bingo I'll, I'll write the name down in the uh, description box so you can just click on it but you might be thinking bingo <laughs> yeah it's it's really really fun if you just have like a few minutes to kill or even more than a few minutes um, it's it's really really addictive I know it, it you're probably thinking bingo that's not fun at all but trust me it is really really fun and you won't be able to stop playing it once you start and they have um, oh gosh it's so hard to describe just check it out and you'll see what I mean it's just, it's just really really fun it's it's totally like mindless like if you want to play something but you don't really want to have to focus or concentrate that much like you know how most games are that you play um, if you just if your concentration lapses for half a second you're dead or whatever I don't like those kind of games where there's like that kind of pressure so this is uh, this is a lot of fun and you don't really win anything you just win the satisfaction of getting bingo and they have like a leaderboard to show like who's doing the best and everything and when you the more you play the better you do and then you see your name going up and up the leaderboard so it's really fun so I'll leave a link to that so you can check it out and I'll try and find the link for the vacuum too um, that way if you do happen to need a vacuum and you want to check it out you can click on the link to see if it's in stock at your local store 
So that is it, you guys. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. And I feel like there was something else I wanted to tell you. And I'll be darned if I can think of what it was. I'll probably think of it after I click off the video. So thank you so much for watching and subscribing. And um, give this video a thumbs up if you like this. Something different, right? I mean, there's only so many videos you can make about makeup before you run out of things to say. So that's why I like to mix it up and talk about different things. So give it a thumbs up if you like this. And uh, I'll see you next time. Bye, guys. Thanks for watching.